What's going on guys, boys, Saturday 206 coming back with another Apex Legends update video. In today's video, I'll be explaining all the pass notes for Apex Legends update 1.43. If you guys are new, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, turn on all notifications. Now let's get straight into the pass notes. So first up, we're going to start off with a new legend, Rampart, and some of her tacticals and some of her ultimates. Now I'm going to explain... Each, I'm going to explain her tactical and her passive first. Her passive is going to be called the modded loader. Ramper has an increased magazine capacity and faster reloads when using LMGs and the minigun. Modded loader also increases the amount of shots before overheating occurs and pro improves cooling when using the Alstar. Her tactical is going to be called amp cover. Rampart builds a crouch cover wall which deploys a full cover amp wall that blocks incoming shots and amps outgoing shots. A max of 5 amp walls can be deployed at a time. Now ultimate in placed minigun Sheila. Her Rampart places a mounted machine gun that anyone can use with high ammo capacity in a long reload time. A max of 3 miniguns can be deployed at a time. For her, the new weapon, the Volt SMG, the first energy-based SMG to see regular use in the Frontier, the Volt allows its operator to fire a slavo of energy-based ammunition, decreasing drag and making it possible to hit multiple targets within a short window. Now we're going to be getting a crafting system, so a little bit on that. We all know the RNG gods are not on always on our favor when it comes to this. So you can find materials throughout the map via loot bins or material stations. Then take these to a replicator. And the re replicator, you can find eight different pieces of loot that you can craft. If you have enough materials, some of these, some of this loot ro blah, 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 rotates on a weekly or daily basis. But you always we will be able to see what's currently craftable in the game mode selector or the map screen. Now, Armor Meta. Now, here's something that they're going to be changing with uh, the way we're going to be getting shield this season. With Season 6, we're introducing some of the big changes in the way the armor works in the game. So, first off, all the armor in the game is going to be evil armor, uh, Evo armor, except the gold armor. Now, when you find a white or blue purple armor on the ground, it's pre-leveled armor it's a pre-leveled evil armor. It can be picked up like normal and continue to be involved. Uh, red armor is not going to be the ground loot. It can only be achieved through evolving the evo armor. So gold is not going to be a part of the evil armor track. This can only be found in rare loca locations as usual. Now also, another interesting change is that players spawn with level 0 evil armor if you get in the gunfights right away and do enough damage you automatically level up in white armor and you can continue to take that all the way to red now here's some changes to the health that you need to get when you're trying to level up the evil uh this season the last big difference is, is that all the armor is going to be down by 25 health that means players with purple and gold armor have 175 health not 200 red armor gets you 200 health and you can no longer get 225 health now the new damage requirements to get white uh, for evos is going to be 50 damage to blues could be 125 damage to purples could be 250 and damage to reds could be 500 also they're introducing halo sprays halo sprays are a new way to emote in the arena by using the emote rule you can throw down these legends uh, calling cards to taunt best enemy uh, bested enemies or future challengers that you're not able to uh, that you're not to be messed with also the battle pass this season battle pass includes the reactive supersonic g7 bloodhound road royer five new halo sprays new skydive emotes weapon charms and more also following the story from season five quest now in full color illustrated comics collect treasure plaques daily to earn rewards including crafting materials Challenge points, apex packs, and a whole new suit of gun charms. Legend, this patch, we're taking a look at the recon class. A class built around gathering should be powerful in a battle royale where knowing where the enemy is often, where the distance between life and death. But out of the three legends in the recon class, this includes Pathfinder, Crypto, and Bloodhound. One dominates in the terms in in-game performance. It's the robot. The robot dominates. Now, in this patch, they're basically going to be making it uh, to where Bloodhound and Crypto and also Pathfinder can also uh, be 
able to scan recon beacons. So, um, crypto changes are a max bag as we found one bug we had to fix that was giving crypto a hidden advantage. Sometimes when you thought you were hitting the drone, you weren't really hitting the drone. Between the bust uh, to Bloodhound's ult and the new artillery to crypto's gain on his drone, we hope to see that a more device filled of the recon legends. So all recon legends, this includes Bloodhound, Crypto, and Pathfinder. You can now use survey recons or beacons to get the next to get the next ring location. Crypto can use his drone instantly to get this information. Now also Pathfinder context. Given all the recon legends access to the survey beacons makes path finder less unique and obviously we do not love that for now we're giving our friendly robot a small buff to his ultimate cooldown when he uses a survey beacon uh, but in the future we'll take another look at pathfinder also passive for uh, pathfinder each time pathfinder scans a survey beacon the total cooldown of the zipline gun is reduced numbers zipline cooldown reduced by 10 seconds each time pathfinder scans a beacon up to six rings Per game means that the total cooldown of zipline gun can go from 120 seconds to 60 seconds. Bloodhound. Bloodhound fulfills a very clear role in Apex Legends. Um, but currently their performance leaves a lot to be desired in this patch. We want to double down on the ultimate being their big moment. So the Beast of the Hunt now gains uh, even more duration when Bloodhound scores a knockdown or a kill with the ultimate about to run out. Uh, Eye of the Allfather, during the Beast of the Hunt, Eye of the Allfather now comes out twice as fast and has a sh much shorter cooldown. Numbers, Beast of the Hunt duration extension from 5 to 15 uh, seconds based on remaining duration. Eye of the uh, all Eye of the Allfather, sorry guys, CD will, during the Beast of the Eye Hunt, 25 seconds to 6 seconds. Eye of the Allfather uh, total use time during the Beast of the Hunt will be 1.8 to 1.9 seconds. Now, Crypto. Um, crypto is probably particularly an interesting recon character. His surveillance drone. Crypto can now activate respawn and survey beacons from his drone. Doing is, doing is so instant instead of requiring a prolonged use. Made the surveillance drone slightly more consistent to hit, but also doubled its hit points. Drone EMP. The EMP will now slow teammates caught in the blast, even though they had shields. This means that players have used Revenant's death totem will also be slowed. The numbers for the surveillance drone, uh, 30 HP to 60 HP. Surveillance drone hitbox, the cube of edge length would be 16 uh, to the cube of edge length would be 24. Now other legends legends are to be also getting a little bit of buffs. Revenant, uh, the death totem for two seconds after being recalled by the death totem, players cannot use race uh, dimension rift. Also octane, now you you can use stim while healing, but stim will not remove the slow you incur from healing. Loba. Uh, the black market low, uh, lowered cooldown from 3 minutes to 90 seconds. Gibraltar, also known as Gibby. Can I get a Gibby in the chat if you guys made it this far? Uh, defense, bombardment, increased cooldown from 3 minutes to 4.5 minutes. Bangalore, rolling thunder, decreased cooling down from 4.5 minutes to 3 minutes. Watson, her interception pylon, the trophy system, will now shoot down Caustic's barrels to in flight if they would have land inside the range of the trophy loot they have added extended energy mags and a turbo uh charger hop up also the precision choke removed precision choke from the loot pool but it will be now interrogated into the triple take and peacekeeper by default fire select toggles on and off the choke and also in the supply drops uh as you guys know this could be our last day to use the r99 uh, R99 is going to be in supply drops now. Damage increase from 11 to 12. Increased magazine size to 32. Ammo reserve clip is going to be 160. Out of supply drop and into ground loot is going to be the devotion. Clip size reduced back to original valves. It's going to be 36 to 40 to 44 to 48. Full kitted uh, weapon swaps. Remove the DMR, Hemlock, Spitfire, EVA 8. And uh, RE45, they added the Devotion, Mastiff, Triple Take, Flatline in the Vault. 
Updated loot, sniper ammo, increased pickup from 8 to 12, increased stack size from 16 to 24, uh, energy ammo, reduced amount pickup from 30 to 20, uh, updates on the guns, reduced on the hemlock, to be reduced vertical recoil, recoil on the, in the burst mode, slightly reducing recoil in the pattern on second and third shots, so first burst kicks less, uh, the Burst mode time between bursts is going to be 0.32 minus uh, 0.28. Charge rifle will be will now use two uh, ammo per shot. Increase mag size from four to eight. Triple take buff. They increase the fire weight from 1.25 to 1.24. Increase mag size from five, six, seven, eight to six, seven, eight, nine. Built the choke hop up into the weapon by default. Toggle the select fire to enable or disable the choke. The PK uh, built the choke hop up into the weapon by default. Toggle select fire enabled uh, disabled the choke. Or you can e enable and disable the choke basically is what it's trying to say. Spitfire improved recoil controllability. The Havoc uh, updated the Havoc with a new recoil. Uh, the Mozambique increased the clip size from 3 to 4. The P2020 increased the damage from 13 to 25, increased hammer point damage multiplier from 2.7 to 2.35. This will leave the hammer point P2020 damage unchanged in most scenarios, increase the max size from 10, 13, 15, 18 to 12, 14, 16, 18. The Sentinel only requires one shield to charge or only Requires one shield cell to charge if the player has gold armor. The Prowler style of reduced uh, vertical recoil in the burst mode. Increased horizontal recoil in the auto mode. The quality of life. Supply drops. Weapons are now uh, here loom tier. It's going to be to avoid confusion with the full kitted guns which will remain gold. World's, World's Edge will receive performance improvements especially around tree the tree, the dome, and skyhook, and also uh, alternations were made to the ring to prevent later late zones from centering on the unplayer, unplayable uh, play zones and reduce predictability of the zones pool. Bug fixes for Bangalore. Fix an issue with the La Katrina and killing machine skins, ob obscuring views when uh, ads were in the hollows from uh, two times to two four times or three times scopes fixed next point with being able to see through smoke with when looking through a chain linked fence bloodhound fix an issue when with bloodhound being able to get an additional alt when using wrath a uh, race ultimate sorry caustic fixed an issue with gas traps clipping into mobile respawn beacons fix an issue with revenant and pathfinder taking less damage from nox not gax Nox gas, sorry guys. Crypto fixed an issue with the sound effects showing false positive when hitting crypto's drone. Fixed an issue with crypto being able to use his drone while using Loba's black market. Fixed an issue with EMP not destroying Loba's black market. Did a geo pass to help prevent crypto's drone from clipping the walls. Gibby. Fix an issue where Gibby's airstrike markers sometimes appear inside buildings. Loba fix an issue on uh, Loba's black market not being pingable. Fix an issue with enemies getting teleported with Loba when they melee her when she teleports. Mirage fix an issue with uh, decoy fly flying rapidly across the ground when players take control of it before a jump tower or geyser. Also fix an issue with decoys not looking... Uh, are fix an issue with decoys not looking natural when players use zipline. Fix an issue with uh, decoys getting launched into the air while players enter race portal. Fix an issue with Mirage's decoys with some with sometimes not deployable but with while skydiving. Octane. Fix an issue with jump pads disappearing when placed on uh, ordinances ordinances. Uh, fix an issue with jump pads disappearing when placed under loot uh, ticks. Fixed uh, an issue with high friend for Pathfinder uh, Revenant. Fixed an issue with enemies getting teleported with Revenant uh, when they melee him before he tallies back to the death totem. 
Wraith, they fix an issue with race portals pushing players beneath the geo when a death box is in is on the other end. Fix an issue with race tactical losing velocity when pressing the fire button during the tactical. Fix an issue when death totem and portal are too close to each other, causing players to auto enter a portal upon death totem recall. Uh, general fixes for uh, season six. Fix an issue with evil armor doubling the effect of leveling up. This caused some brightness on the screen. Fix an issue with the train killing uh, players when coming out of Wraith Race Portal on the train. Fix an issue with some vertical zip lines not correctly placing players once they get off the zip line. Fix an issue with spectator view pinging the last pings when swapping through views. Private match issue. Fix an issue for knocking down for knockdown state and eliminating squads when no one had a gold shield fixed an issue where death protection runs out with an active doc uh medic nearby doc would not start healing you as far as i know that is all the patch notes for season six if you guys enjoyed this video like i said make sure you guys like subscribe turn on notifications peace out guys have a great night Later.